What is up, guys? It is Stubbs. We are here playing Ark Survival Evolved again. And as you can see behind me, we have another T-Rex. In case you missed the last episode, we got Rexan over here, a new mate. And I decided to just leave his name as Rex. So we have Rex and Rexan. And these are his stats. I did level him up quite a bit. He was level 90 when we tamed him. Um, I forgot what level he was when he actually tamed out. I think it was like 1... 130? 125-ish? I think around that area? I don't know. You'll have to watch the previous episode. But, I did boost his health up to 21,000 there. His melee damage is 1,200. And I did pump some stamina. I think he was at like... I think he was at like 800. To start with, I bumped him up to 2100, just because Rexes do run out of stamina very, very quickly. And I've also been bumping a little bit of movement speed as well on him. But that's enough of Rex. Um, while I'm over here, I'm just going to check to see if these guys have levels, which I don't think that they do. I didn't even check Rexan yet. No. Okay. So... Let's actually check our Gigantos while they're out here roaming. I try to check these guys quite frequently, because they do... They gather quite a bit of experience while they're over here gathering. Um, crops should be good. I refertilized all of them. So they all should be grown back by now. And, as you guys can tell, we have this big opening right here. Which I have planned for us to do something with that today. Jane does not have a level either. Okay, can I... Can I take a drink? Thank you. And we did tame up a Stego as well. Which also has a level already. Jeez. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just pump some health on that guy. Or that, that girl. Yeah, that girl. So, the last episode I tamed a Rex and off camera I went ahead and went back to the snow biome and tamed up a Megaloceros. Um, I think it was also I think it was 90 or 95 something like that I just did any one that I found that was a male since the males are the only ones that can actually do something the female Megaloceros really don't as far as I was able to see they cannot attack all they can really do is just run and that is not something that I really want. So, um, after I tamed that guy up, I did clear out some trees over there. We did some building. A bunch of stuff is on Trooper. Um, to run it down. What level are you? I don't feel like running over to you. Level 60. Not even worth it. I did block this area off here with Behemoth Gates, and there were there was this little little way right here. Decided to just put that there. Just so we don't have to walk through the behemoth gates all the time, if we don't choose to. I will be putting some stand, uh, standing torches in here as well. And this is where all of our egg-laying dinos will be. They will all be right in this whole big, um, I guess I'll just call it a hallway for now. Um, we do have a little, oh, no, 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 no. What level are you? 135. Oh no. 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 Stay away. Go away. Oh, that's right. I have my Mastercraft crossbow. Boom. Go away. Go away. Go away. I do have to patch this little corner up here. You know, I don't think anything can get through here at all. Because obviously the scorpion here could not. So, I, I'm really not too worried about that at the moment. Yeah, it's a male, so I can't even... I can't even use this guy anyway. Seems like he's stuck in place right now. So, let's actually... Let's just do this. Oh! No! Go away! No! Crossbow! Oh! It's coming up the rock here. What in the hell? 
Oh yeah, jump shot. Anyway, I, what's over here? This is just a dead end corner. <laughs> okay, I've never noticed that before. Anyway, I'm gonna have to block that off later. I didn't notice it when I went ahead and put the gates up. But um, I might try to do something about all of that light right there, or I might just keep it open like that, kind of let Tyrannodon fly in here. But for the most part, there's not really any RGs around my base area here, so I shouldn't have to worry about them at all. But actually, real quick, that's poop, not a mysterious egg. Let's check on eggs real quick. Um, doesn't look like we have any eggs at all. Um, the reason why I'm moving them down into that little alley thing, the little alleyway, is because it's just more spacious out there and I can fit more dinos in there, like the right way. Because if I do tame up some more trikes, I'm not going to really have anywhere to put them. I can always tame up a couple more carbon emmys and more parasaurs I can get another raptor a couple more packies and I think you guys get the idea by that um but like stuff like the rexes and stuff I'll probably just keep either over there or I might bring them over to here in this area do you have another level yet no okay so I was thinking about building the house right over in this area here. Let's get that guy out of the way. So I'm not sure if you guys ever noticed this as a part of like my base or the area that I live in. But we have this area right here. And I did take my Pteranodon and I did go flying up in that area. It's all closed off. It's underneath all the stairs that go up from... Can I show you from here? It's yes, from the little ruins up there. There's the stairs that go all the way up top there. Which I will also have to put... Probably take spike walls and kind of just put them around the whole top perimeter up there. But again, that is for a later time. But, um, as you guys can see, I did make quite a few things here. Not sure if it's going to be enough. But for the most part, this whole area here seems pretty flat. So we should be able to build a nice house over here without being, you know, lopsided or anything like that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and clear out some of the trees here real quick. go ahead and keep going. We have a couple more trees left. And it's much easier to do it with a mammoth. Or I could have actually done it with my uh, beaver as well. But I kind of decided not to. I'm not really sure why. I just decided not to. So I think I kind of use my beaver quite often. So I think it's time to give Trooper a chance here kind of be in a little bit of a spotlight but another reason why all three all four of these guys is over here because it was a big rock that spawned roughly right here let's get some of these bushes out of the way too real quick while we're here but I have my beaver and my megaloceros over here Ooh, look a dodo huh, off topic okay but I have all of them over here because I just had all the wood on this guy, all of the thatch on this guy, and a bunch of fiber on Trooper. And I was just kind of standing in the middle of all of them and just grabbing the items just to build all of the foundations. And I did, I built all of it out of wood because I'd like to have like a wood house, not a stone house. And I was going to put some, uh, thatch roofs on it as well just to kind of give it a better look to it if you will but I will probably need to build some more things here 145 female dodo let's see we could use more dodos so 
so let's go ahead and actually tame this guy up real quick. Or this girl. I always call them guys. Don't know why. We got some medjo berries and some narcos. I doubt we're going to need the narco berries. But. Let's see how much of that team up. Yeah, I don't think we're going to really need many narco berries at all. But for the house, I was thinking about kind of having it. Well, that's a little far away there. Kind of having the front kind of facing the whole area right there. So probably right there just like that. I think we might make it, what, five wide maybe? Uh, let's go ahead and just make it six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And we're going to go back probably about four. Dehydrated again? Dang. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Come on. Can I play this? Another one. Another one. Alright, probably just going to do four. Like so. Alright, so I think that's just going to be like the basic setup of it. Um... Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. The dodo is basically tamed. We'll just stick it at that. I'll just feed it some narcos and then get rid of that. So, we'll go ahead and take these foundations, stick them back onto Trooper here. The walls are going to overburden me, so we'll take half. Take the door frame, the door... And we'll go ahead and take a couple railings as well. So what I was thinking of doing was having... What is it, like this? Okay. Kind of go two inwards. And then just have it kind of go like that. Nice. Dodo has been tamed. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring the Dodo over this way. Alright. Stop following. Actually, oh, 213 Dodo. I just noticed that. That's pretty awesome. I'm actually just going to go one wall inward. Like that. And then... Which way is the right way? That way. Okay. Uh, demolish that. We're gonna go one wall in. That's the right way. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. Finally getting the hang of this arc building mechanic here. Um, is that right? No, it's still gonna be Still gonna be off. Alright. So what do we need? I'm just gonna go ahead and grab four more foundations. And I'm just gonna extend it out another one. Probably this side right here. Just so it's even the door. I'll put the door right in the middle of the building. Or right in the middle here. And I will have to go out and gather some more supplies here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So door would be right on this one here. The door frame. I want it like that. Perfect. Okay, what just happened? The game crashed. Ah. Alright guys, we're back. We had a little crashing issue, but we are now back, and I thought I saw an RG fly up there. Well, that is just a Bronto. And then just take a look at that awesome Bronto that's just chilling on top of that big cliff up there. 
He is such a trooper. I'm sure he's going to die at some point from starvation. Maybe we'll go ahead and save him one day. Now that we have a bigger base. And just to answer any future questions, that building right there in front of us, let's see, right where my crosshairs are, that big building right there will be torn down once all of the dinos are put down that way. Now, when it came back to doing the house after the crash, everything was gone and it basically restarted us from where we started the video over there by the Rexes and all that. So I had to rebuild the entire house again. But I decided to do it differently this time. I decided to go with a 5x5. Five five, and I kind of just started it that way. And the inside is... Oh, um, that's going to annoy me. That little twig popping through there. But anyway, that's going to be it for the house. As far as... Like, foundation-wise. For now, we may go ahead and build onto it to add more things to it. But for now, that's actually going to be it. And another thing is that we lost our epic dodo due to the crash as well. Um, could have sworn that I had some. Could have sworn I made some fences. Oh, there they are. I think eight should do it. kind of work on our little deck right here and it was also a pain to do these walls because they didn't want to quite match up right here at the at the corner they kind of wanted to go at like completely weird angles like w the wall would like come out to like kind of right where that post is right there like the wall right here it would basically be right where that post is and then there would be a big gap in the corner here it was like extremely annoying. It took me quite a few minutes to actually get it set up the right way. And so far I'm liking that. So we will go ahead and pop these back on Trooper. Let's go ahead and we can start actually. I'd like to give something a try here. as well because I was told that I'd be able to put a pillar right here like at the corner but I don't think that'll be I don't think that'll work because of the railings so since I do have a couple extra railings we'll go ahead and just get rid of these guys you can always make more probably should have thought about this beforehand but I'd like to put this at the corner here but it doesn't seem like it wants to snap right there nor even like relatively placed there that's gonna be a bummer because I like to have like a little overhang above above here as well um, but I want it to like actually look structurally correct if that's the proper word for that um cuz if i mm, if i put one here it'll block a railing if i stuck it out here i think it would just make it look weird to kind of have like the overhang roof kind of come up down onto that. And what I could do is also just kind of... That won't work either. I was thinking just extend the foundations out another one. I could just keep the ramp right where it is and have the foundations out another block. But Something's attacking. What's going on here? What's being attacked? Is it the Fiomia? Is it something out here? I wish it would tell you what's getting attacked. 
but I'm guessing it was the Fiomia. I actually got a no. There we go. Drop all items. All right. Since we're on Jane, we're gonna go check out the area around here real quick. Make sure that everyone's okay. It definitely wasn't that Pteranodon. But for a Fiomia to start combat like that, that's a little strange. Because Fiomias run from combat. Um, you're on neutral, so you would have you would have moved. I believe you're on attack target. You're on attack target, so you guys would have done something if there was something over here. I think you're on neutral. Yeah, you're on neutral. Um, that Giganto and Tarzan, they're also on neutral. Get out of here. He's interrupting my videos constantly, that guy. Any. Um, looks like everyone's fine for the most part. Actually, let's check up at our workshop real quick. Um, like so. Looks like everybody's okay up here as well. I think I have Corrin on neutral up here as well. Yep. So if something was up here, it would have died. So I definitely think it was that Fiomia. Which is very strange, because they don't start combat. Which I think... It probably fell from up there. It probably landed on my one of my dinos and ran. That's actually what I'm guessing happened. So that's another reason why I gotta stick some... Like, spike walls up there, or something like that. But, since our little pillar idea won't work... We're going to have to go ahead and take, where are they this time? Right there, we'll take those two. And we'll just replace them, like so. And I'm going to continue building, guys, and I will bring you back. Oh, that is a raptor inside of our home. That is most likely what started it. Okay. So, real quick, before I actually start doing that. I thought I saw some sort of head up there. Can we go, Jane? Thank you. Ooh, a 130. I'm gonna have to repair all of this stuff. I'm gonna have to repair all of that. Holy crap. Like... Was any of this damaged? Doesn't look like anything was damaged at all from the raptor. Okay. So yeah, things are definitely falling from up there, so I'm going to have to do something about that relatively soon. But I actually didn't have a problem with that up there before I started building my house over here. Is that something right there? No. Okay. But. Alright, so I will continue doing a little bit of building here, and I will bring you guys back. Alright guys, we are back again, and I did not do much building, because I went ahead and made some spiked walls to stick up there, and the game crashed again. So, I decided, not a big deal, I'll just go ahead and let it go, and I will try it again. And then it happened again. So, it's just going to keep on happening. So I'm going to try to finish up this little roof here, if I can. I'm hoping that we have enough for... And yes, I know the railings did not get put on. That is highly unfortunate. But... We will at least go ahead and stick... Oh, I grabbed the regular roofs? I thought I grabbed the sloped ones. Whoops. So I will just go ahead and give that back. And I will just go ahead and grab just four just to kind of start off with. Like so. 
so. There we go. Come on, let me... There we go. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but dogs are barking in the background. And if you can hear it, I apologize. Come on, there we go. Okay. So that's roughly what it's going to kind of look like. I'm going to stick some windows and stuff in there. But before the game crashes, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And what are the spiked walls still doing on my hotbar? It's very strange. Because I had spiked walls all along there. And it crashed from before, before I made all of the spiked walls. So that is very strange. Anyway, that's this is going to be basically the outlook of the house. For now, the railings will be here again. And the whole roof will be thatch. And I will be sticking windows. And maybe putting a second floor somewhere on there. But, anyway guys. I hope you liked the video so far. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you're new, hit that subscribe button as well for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.